My brain's trying really hard to think. We gotta discuss the elephant in the room, okay? Go write down the styles that look the best on you. Go shopping, come back, maybe you'll have a different viewpoint. Hello, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sierra and I am here to help you learn about fashion. Today's video is going to be the top summer 2022 fashion trends for all body types. As we all know, there are five body types, pear, apple, hourglass, inverted triangle, and rectangle. If you don't know what your body type is yet, go check out my other video. That way we can all be on the same page. And with that said, let's get on into it. The first trend that we are going to be talking about for summer 2022 two are tube tops also tube top dresses so the body types that are going to look best in this style are apples hourglasses and pears so the reason that inverted triangles don't look the greatest in the style is because they have broader shoulders and there's nothing in this style that breaks anything up usually inverted triangles like to have some kind of strap or thicker straps or something just to kind of break up their chest. The reason it doesn't look as great on rectangles is because they have a very boxy shape. Rectangles are going to want some kind of neckline that has shape to it instead of just straight across because that's going to make them look even more boxy. The reason that it looks really good on hourglass, apple, and pears is because they want to enhance their shoulders and therefore the straight neckline works fine. I also wanted to point out with this that these guidelines that I'm giving you are very basic. This is like if you cannot balance anything out with your bottom half. If an hourglass had a really, really, really poofy bottom, they're not gonna want a straight neckline, tightly fitted shirt. They're gonna want something that's also a little bit puffier on their shoulders so it balances out. Next up on the list are cargo pants. Also cargo shorts, because it's summer and it's gonna be hot. You only wear the pants for the aesthetic, okay? Or if you're in a really cold climate. And by aesthetic, I mean just to take a picture and then immediately take them off, because I hope nobody's torturing themselves like that. So pretty much every body type is going to look great in cargo pants except for pairs. This is because pairs have a bigger hip and cargo pants have a lot of pockets. They're kind of baggy and they bring attention to your bottom half. Next on the list is strapless. So strapless has a very similar situation to tube tops. That being said, hourglass, pear, and apples are going to look best in this fit. The reason inverted triangle does not look the best in this fit is the same as the tube top reason. They just have a broader shoulder and need some to break it up. Same with rectangles, it just makes them look a little bit boxier and that style does not flatter their body type. It's not the body type's fault, it's the style, okay? Don't be shaming yourself. I have about had it with everybody just being like, oh my god, I'm ugly, my body type sucks, nothing fits me right. Girl, go write down the styles that look the best on you. Go shopping, come back, maybe you'll have a different viewpoint. Promise it helps. Next on the list for the top summer 2022 fashion trends are vests. This was actually pretty popular for the winter season, the sweater vest. So now they're just switching it up and kind of like just wearing vest, no sweater, which I don't mind because that would be so so difficult to walk around in. Lucky for all of us, this type of fit works with every single body type. <laughs> I actually haven't seen this trend too much, but once I started researching it, I saw it everywhere. Loki made me want to get a vest. So if you guys try this, definitely let me know. I want to see it in all the different types of body types. The reason that this style works good with all the different body types is because of the neckline, it's v-neck. Most every body type looks good with the v-neck. Some of them don't look good with like really deep v-necks, but it basically just accentuates your waist. It kind of brings your eye down and the vest cinches you in. So that's why it's good for apples is because it gives you a waist. It's good for inverted triangles because it's a thicker strap. It's good for rectangles because it gives you a waist. Um, what else? Hourglass. I mean, it just enhances what you already got. And with pear, it doesn't really highlight your bottom half and actually it's a really cute top so I think everybody could swing this if you try this out I really want to see so send me a DM on Instagram with you wearing your cute ass shit I want to see it okay next on the list is something that I'm honestly really excited about it's a new trend and it's wearing boxers as shorts what I was very confused at first but here are some examples so these shorts kind of make your bottom half look bigger because they are kind of poofy usually boxer shorts are very tight though so I feel like there's a lot of variations you can do with this and because of that I'm gonna say they look great with all body types I would only be a little concerned about pairs but at the same time like I think they would 
I think it would work. I think it would look cute. Let me know what you guys think about the boxers and if you like this trend, if you're gonna try it out and if you think it works with pairs. The next item on our list are maxi skirts. Maxi skirts are another fit that will work with all body types. Yes! <laughs> Maxi skirts are so in the summer. They're super cute. They're long, they're flowy, you won't get too hot. Another thing that's awesome about maxi skirts is there's so many different shapes and sizes that it really can work with any body type. As you can see by the pictures I'm showing you, there are certain ones that are gonna work great for inverted triangles. There's gonna be some that work great with pairs. It just fits the curve absolutely perfectly. I'm honestly trying to find one right now, but I'm so tall that it's a little bit harder for me to find a maxi skirt, but I think they're so flipping cute. If you end up buying one and it's like crazy long, please let me know. <laughs> It'll fit normally on me, I promise. It does not matter how long it is, it'll fit normally on me. The next summer 2022 fashion trend. Cutouts, cut out dresses, cut out pants, cut out shorts, cut out tops, cut out everything. This trend looks great on pretty much every body type. I'm a little skeptical about Apple. Um, I think if it was the correct fit it would look fine but usually what apples do is they wear something and then they'll wear like something over top to kind of make them look slimmer my brain's trying really hard to think i'm a visual learner i really would love to see it on somebody i think it looked great i think if it was flowy i think if it if it was like if it was a cut out top it would be fine i'm kind of thinking of a dress but then again it's like a baby doll dress would be better so i don't know i'm a little skeptical about the apples let me know what you think um i would probably say no to apples we gotta discuss the elephant in the room, okay? Rectangles. If you have a rectangle body shape and you do not own a dress that has cutouts, you go to my description, you go to the link that I put in the description and you buy one right now. They are magnificent on rectangles, magnificent. They do wonders. They make you feel so sexy. Oh, oh. They just hug you in all the right places. You have to get it, you have to. Like, there's no discussion. I would work that extra shift, get that moolah, and go buy yourself a cutout dress. Next up on the trend list for summer 2022 are low-rise jeans. You guys know how I feel about low-rise jeans. If you don't, just go check out my videos. I talk about it quite often. I feel like it's a horrible thing. <laughs> There's only two body types that they're flattering for, and it's rectangles and inverted triangles. That's the research that I have made on, on the internet. Visually, I think they look fine on hourglass. I just don't think it's good to have that as a trend. It makes a lot of people self-conscious. They want to be trendy, and they want to feel confident in themselves, and they have to wear low-rise jeans. Feel confident in themselves? I don't know. You guys, it's 5.03, and it takes two hours to cook the meal I'm gonna cook tonight, and my boyfriend's gonna be home and be like, you haven't started? I'm filming a YouTube video. <laughs> I gotta hurry up so I can go and make dinner. So next one, we have two more. First one are baby tees. This is kind of like a Y2K trend-ish situation. These are what they look like. Cute little, little baby tees. Um, I do not own one. I think they're cute, but then again, it's like I feel like they look best with low-rise jeans. I'm not a fan. Baby tees look best with pear and hourglass. The ones I found on Amazon were really cute though. So if you want those, I have a link in my description. They are affiliate links, so you would be helping a girl out so much. I have to get a certain amount of affiliate link buys to keep my subscription, and right now I have none. So if you could you know, use that if you want to buy any of these pieces, that would be great. I'd much appreciate it. The reason that baby tees look best on pair and hourglass is because it's usually cropped. Um, cropped shirts don't look the best on every body type unless you have, and I had a comment about this yesterday, but let's say you're an inverted triangle, right? And you are wearing a crop top. It's not gonna look great if you have like regular shorts on, right? This one girl commented, she was like, I wear cargo pants and sweatpants with my crop tops and it looks great. So I'm very surprised that this was on the list. If you wear something on your lower half that's fuller, the crop top's gonna be fine. That's why all of these tips are something that you can work with and still wear what you wanna wear. These are just basic guidelines so that you can go off something and you're not trying everything on in the store. This, this, and this looks good on my body type. I'm gonna search for those things. This looks good on my body type if I wear this. It just helps you not be as confused on what the heck's going on. <laughs> so if you want to wear a crop top, definitely wear something baggier or bigger on your lower half. And my boyfriend's calling me, probably about dinner. Hello. It's again. I'm um in the middle of filming my video. Oh, okay. Hey. 
No, I have not started cooking yet. I'm sorry. I'm almost done though. I'm almost done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, definitely leave me a comment down below on what you'd like to see next. Thank you again so much for being here and supporting me. It means the absolute world. And I will see you guys super soon with a new video. Bye.